This video is going to look at Yulgok, which is a blue tag uh, pattern and has 38 movements. Within it we have quite a few uh, techniques that we've used previously in other patterns, however we have a few new ones as well, so let's go through those few, uh, few new, new, uh, new techniques. So the first one we're going to look at is Ap Palkup Tarigi, so front elbow strike. What we're looking to do is to be in, in Gunasogi, into walking stance. As we come through with hand, we have the hand out in front of us because we use opposite reaction force, but also we're using it as a, a focus point as well. As we come through, the elbow comes horizontal to the floor, coming through, and then make sure we are full facing, taking the flat of the hand onto the elbow. Some of the problems we have with this is people start to bring it up in this fashion, so we need to make sure that it comes from that horizontal position and through. Another challenge with this is also people bring their arm to it too hard. It should be a case of the body being half facing, at this point the hand here, and then the elbow comes to meet the hand, not the hand meeting the elbow. Palm facing down to the floor in this position here. We also go on to Kuchisogi as well, which is X stance. And with this we go on to uh, uh, Dungjimuk Yokturigi, which is a side back fist. With our Kuchisogi, we need to make sure as we come in, my foot lands, my other foot comes in behind it, both feet are on a 45 degree angle, with the target being in this position. I push my uh, shin into the back of my, uh, back of my calf. The young uh, Yacht Dungeon comes from my rear chest line, palms facing away and coming through and down to temple height. So we're half facing, 45 degrees with the feet, and as I say, we're looking at temple height for the delivery of the, uh, the Yacht Dungeon Up. We also have Du Maki as well. And we do this as a barrow du palmomaki, so an outward um, uh, uh, double, double forearm block. With this technique, we, have, we go from a uh, neutral position. As the hands go back above the shoulder height, they come through, rotating in to this position. So my, uh, the knuckle of my little finger on my rear hand is just behind the elbow joint. It keeps me in a half-facing position. My fingers on my, uh, on my front hand, the fist, is going to be eye height because we are going for Nepunde high section to this position. So again, from here, back, and bringing it through. Very similar to an Ankamamaki, but both hands are doing this movement. We also have Golchimaki hooking block as well. So with our Golchimaki, what we're looking for is, from a neutral position, we take the hands on top. As we come through, we lift, we rotate and then bring the hand across. So what we're looking at is a punch coming in towards me. I am meeting that punch and my um, palmock is making contact so uh, with, the, uh, with the attacking arm, but my hand is resting on top of the, uh, the attacking punching arm. So I control that position. The elbow is at 25 degrees, so it is slightly extended out, whereas normally we have blocks here at uh, 90 degrees, we're extending out to 25 degrees. So we're then able to then control that arm, and if we need to, we can grasp and we can de uh, deliver what we need to from that grasp or the pull that we put into that. Okay, what we need to now do is go through each of the moves within the pattern. One of the big things we need to look at is foot movement when we're in there. Setting ourselves up, pre-preparing the foot. This is massive within this pattern. So, we start from Narani Chumisogi, normal Narani Chumisogi. The first move is a line-up, and what we do in a natural movement, we line up in line with the shoulder, same one fist below as a normal punch, but it is straight in line, so it is not on that centre line. It is a natural move, so what we're not doing is just lifting it up, because that isn't natural. We're going in a slightly elliptical movement from here, and in. From there, we do a double punch. Make sure we keep the elbows nicely tucked in when we do the punches. We then go to the side and repeat, but again, natural movement. So all I do is drop and rotate, lift up on that slight ellipse. Then we go into our double punch again. Now, we're now going to go off on 45 degrees. This is where we start setting up with the foot. So I automatically set my foot across, my hips at that 45 degrees. So from that position, here, neutral position. Then I take my hands up, straighten my leg, then through into Ampamamaki. Low front kick followed by a double punch. 
It's important to keep my and paramaki in position throughout the whole movement. I then go to the other side, 45 degrees. Again, the foot of the back, we need to position it. So again, I come round, 45 degrees. From this position, I then deliver and paramaki. Keep the hand exactly where it is, middle um, in a forearm block. Kick, double punch. We're now going to our Golchimaki complex. So let me take you through it in full. I, pos I take, uh, position my foot on the floor again from here. I then come forwards for my first Golchimaki. I then have to dip down, up, and then go into a natural position. So it's not a reverse half facing, but a natural position. So I just come around uh, slightly more with my front shoulder. My heel is up on the floor. My hand is above the shoulder height. I then drop and punch. I then repeat. I then punch. My next move is a side kick. So again, I need to position myself on the floor. I come back a little bit. So I position my foot on the floor. I rotate. I bring my foot to the other one, lifting the hands. My foot is just covering itself off the floor next to the leg. I then drop into my uh, Gaborio Soggy, my bending ready stance. As we've done before, side kick. I rotate my foot on the floor again. From here, my foot is just two inches off the floor. Palcate tree and in. Position on the floor again with the foot. I rotate. I bring my other foot to it. Then I drop into my uh, Gaborio Soggy bending ready stance. We go to two moves that we've done before. Sosang Paramaki. Sosang Katsogi. Repeat the other side. What I'm now doing is I'm going to then go back down the CD line. We go back down the CD line. It's very similar to the Dosan moves that we have the first two moves. So again, I rotate, high block, out forearm block, middle punch, high, out forearm block, middle punch. From here we now go into our Kuchisogi, Yok Dung Rotate, feet on the floor, push back with the arms to do Paramaki, and in, up. Neutral, push back, and do Paramaki to the end of the pattern. Rotate the foot, back into Narani Chimisogi. So let's just do the, uh, the last little bit coming up the other way, so you can see the, uh, uh, the coach, coach Sogi coming forwards, and the, uh, the Dung uh, Jumoki Octorigi coming in. So from, let's see, from this side, we come into here. We then come into my uh, out forearm block, high out forearm block, and punch. So with my crunch, so uh, don't you make the octorini. So, as we come through, what I'm doing, I'm lifting my leg up, it's around about 110 degrees, and I'm looking to go one uh, and a half uh, shoulder width, so one walking stance with it. As I come, my hand is coming back, I then stamp forwards and through. So it's not as far as some people think it is, it's just that one and a half stances. So go from here, and in. Okay, let's go through the whole pattern of full speed. Okay, so there you have your gok. Practice each of the new moves and put them into their complexes, then move on to actually putting the whole pan together. Enjoy. <laughs>